Hello students, in this session you are going to see chapter 6, Control Structures. Under looping or iteration topic, in this video you are going to learn for loop. As you know, iteration or loop are used in situation when the user need to execute a block of code several of times. Simply execute a statement or group of statements multiple times. Python supports while loop and for loop. In the previous video, you learned while loop. Now you are going to learn for loop. What is the syntax for for loop? For counter variable in sequence followed by statements block one. Like in while loop, for also having a else part, but this part is optional. If the user requires, we can add this part or else we can leave it. So how the for loop works? For loop is the most comfortable loop. Mainly it is used when the counting is known. So it is a programming style that as we know, looping is execute, going to execute group of statements multiple times. If the counting, that multiple time is a known factor, likewise it is going to uh, execute 100 times or 20 to 50 times. If it is a known thing, then we can use for loop. It is also an entry check loop. While loop also entry check loop, for loop also entry check loop. What is the meaning? Meaning is the condition is checked after that the execution takes place. Without the condition checking, there won't be any execution of statements. That is the meaning of entry check. While the entry itself, the condition is checked. The condition is checked in the beginning and the body of the loop is executed if it is only true. Otherwise, the loop is not executed. So only it is called entry check loop. Do you remember do while in your C++? Do while is called exit check loop because in that loop the condition is placed at the end. Do while will execute the statement once even though the condition is false. But for loop and while loop will not execute any statement until the condition is true. So, we have to see what is the counter variable. Counter variable mentioned in the syntax is similar to the counter variable that we used in the for loop of C++. It is the control variable also. In C++, for will have three segments, starting point, final end and the a final and the increment value and also a condition checking. You, usually in Python, for loop uses range. Here we are going to see a new built-in function range. This is going to handle the three things, initial, final, increment values. As we know that it is going to execute multiple times, there must be a starting point and an ending point and it reaches the ending point through a condition checking. Range generate a list of values starting from start till stop minus 1. What is the meaning is, if the starting value is 1, it will start with 1. For example, if the ending value is 10, it will go only up to 9 because the n value is treated as n minus 1. So 10 minus 1, 9. We'll, uh, you will understand why you work out the example. How the for loop is written. For i in range 2, 10, 2. There are three values. First value is the step start value. 10 is the stop value. The stop is treated as minus 1. That means 10 minus 1 is 9. Step that is 2. That is increment part is 2. First is 2. Next it is 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. But this is optional. 
If we didn't give the third parameter, it will be taken as 1 in default. So here it is 2, 4, 6, 8. Because first it is 2, then there is a space. Next, it should be incremented 2 values. So 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. Again, 8 plus 2 is 10. But the n value here it is 9. So we are not getting the value of 10 printed. We will see this in Python editor. See this example also. Here for i in range of 2, 11, 2. There is a else part. Else part end of the loop. So as it is 11, here 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. If we can also print a string using a for. Is it easy only in Python, not in C++. So here word in computer print word that means a variable here it is i here it is word in here it is given as a range here that directly they are given the string it will automatically fetch one by one first letter second letter third letter so the range is in default and it is implicitly understood we will see in the editor so see the example First one is for i in range of 2, 11, 3. That means increment value is 3. Print i and here I have given a slash n. You mean slash n is next line. So else print end of the loop. Did you notice the intent space? It is very important. Without the space then there will be a intent error. So now we will run. Can you see the output as 2 starting value is 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 3, it's 11. But here it is written up to 10 only because n value is stop minus 1. So it is 10. So it is not printing the loss value. So we will change it to 2. Can you able to see here 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 2, 10. For example, you think that there is no third part because the third parameter is optional. It will take a, that means it will take the increment as 1. Is it clear? So it starts from 2 going to 10 because n minus 1 10 I hope you understood this I'm commenting we we'll see the output of this for loop here for loop for word in computer so it is going to fetch letter by letter Can you able to see the output? As here there is only space, it is giving space. Even we can use slash t also. Check the output. Can you able to see the output? Here the space is more because slash t means at tab space it will take a character space so it is elaborated that means extended to more space is it clear children i hope you understood the for loop thank you have a good day